It don't matter who you are, where you're from, what you believe in, you're a female, male, what your sex orientation is. This is gorgeous, is probably an international law. Everyone agree on. Montage. Now, some of you might say this is a gorgeous piece of art and you will be right some of you guys might say this is a stability nightmare being a rear wheel drive only and you guys will be right also here's what happened so i received the car and i saw everything here i was obviously super impressed this is beautiful i received the car with a different system but i figured i'm gonna put my own here because we're gonna need a lot of very very precise and accurate technology and here's why so those cars usually are gas powered and they're super heavy and there's a ton more traction and things going on with those electric conversions when the car is so light you literally have no traction like the car can just slide on those wheels and nothing happens even though those wheels are huge and they do feel very very grippy so I received the car, it already had a hobby wing motors, fifth scale motor, so I decided, all right, cool enough, I'm just, if it's already have a fifth scale hobby wing motor, I was too lazy to remove all that pulley system and whatnot, I'm just gonna put a hobby wing ESC, so I just shoved a nice Max 5 here. I did use a nice, since this one is a 970 kV motor, I did use a nice single 8 spec that I just installed here. I was trying to keep it as clean as I could with all the wires and everything, so everything is kind of holding itself. And then we have the nice ESC wires going into that receiver box. Crucial, crucial, crucial here is the stability nightmare that we're going to face. Crucial that everything is spot on and super, super precise. For example, this is a $225 Spectrum 5th scale servo. So it's a Spectrum S9120 that is connected to the wheels. There is no give whatsoever. And this is important. Also, we have a Futaba receiver here. We're not playing around. And we have the Futaba gyro inside, GYC441. And most importantly, perfect pass, launch control. Okay, so the first thing I did is to make sure that I have a super, super responsive servo and a super, super sensitive and responsive gyro. This is how that works. So let's actually turn on our transmitter. Very nice. Turn on the car. Beautiful. So we have ADS connected, obviously. This is how responsive the servo is. Obviously, endpoints are adjusted properly because that servo is a monster. So we don't want it to actually break the linkages. So EPA endpoint adjustment is set to exactly the movement it needs to be. And look at that responsiveness. But anyway, gyro, let's increase gyro a little bit just so you can actually see the effect of it gyro is connected to channel three and when it comes to steering this is the correction that we're getting what's beautiful about the gyc 441 is that the correction is very linear and the accelerometers are very very sensitive so it doesn't have to be a very big hit or a very big fishtail it can just be a slight one. But anyway, this is when it comes to steering. 
Perfect pass. So for the demonstration of perfect pass lunge control, we're gonna use just a single 4S lipo, just so we're not over spinning the motor. If you guys are new here, or if you're not familiar with perfect pass, this is the world's first and only RC car lunge control. Uh, and it's great. We use it on drag, we use it on a speed run. In this car, it's going to be crucial because we don't have traction. So I'm not trying to have a plug-in for my own products here, but it does actually relate to this car and we kind of have to use it. So. With this car, we have no traction whatsoever. Here's what's normally gonna happen. Let's turn it on. And we're gonna let it initialize. And this is the response that we're getting in any other normal RC car. Which will make us lose traction in seconds. With perfect pass, we can actually decide the actual delay and ramp up of the throttle. Let me show you how that works. So this was with perfect pass all the way to left, meaning perfect pass was off. Now we're going to take perfect pass all the way to the right for maximum delay. And I'm gonna show you how that looks. It's just not going to allow us to actually lose traction. Perfect pass engaged, gyro engaged. What a beast this one is. So we're probably going to take it to the runway soon and speed run it. So stay tuned when it comes to this one. Anyway, couple of cool updates. Do you guys remember this car? If not, I will definitely remind you. So this is the first time that we're trying this rig. Let's see what happens. Just gonna get a feel for it. dumbest thing I've ever seen. Exactly.
So anyway, I fixed it. It's all brand new right now. And actually, let me open the inside so you guys can see it. Kind of smooth. Anyway, shout out to Taylor RC for hooking me up. And thank you, Kevin Talbot, my friend, that actually hooked me up with Taylor RC that hooked me up with this chassis. Uh, new uh, build, new wheels, new tires, new everything. This is the Proline, my favorite Proline, the Bedlands MX-43, the previous ones with the bid locks. This is the setup. This chassis, let me tell you, by the way, what a piece of art. You see all those finger marks, but this thing is like a mirror. It's just amazing. So fixed everything, brand, blah, brand new setup. It's all there. She's ready to go, kind of. I'm um, just gonna install some, a lot of powers here and there, and this will be its own video. So we'll see about this one. Oh, another thing. So there is a scammer. I've been told I should be super complimented that I have a scammer uh, that is attacking my channel. So I am complimented, but it still sucks and I don't like my subscribers being scammed. So guys, if you see this guy, it's obviously not me. And they will tell you that you want something and that you have to call this number or text this number and blah, blah, blah. Obviously that's not me, that's a scam. Someone just got let onto my account. Uh, some might say that if you're dumb enough to actually do it, you deserve it. But <laughs> if yes or no, it doesn't really matter. You guys are my subscribers and I feel bad. Don't fall for this trap. This is not me, this is just a fake. I tried to remove it, tried calling YouTube. They can care less, obviously. So stay away from this guy. And what else? Another thing in the shop that we have right now is this one. Uh, let's see, do we have time to build this one real quick and test it in this video? No, this video is long enough. Let's keep this one for the next video. I know I've been told, I've been uh, talking about it for a while now. It's supposed to be super epic. We're gonna take it to a skate park, blah, blah, blah. Next video though. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Consider subscribing if you're new here and if you are a subscriber, the most important thing of them all, smash the bell.